Hello viewers, welcome to the second part of the song Hey I love you from Unnai Nan Sandite. If you want to view the chords cover for the song, please see part 1 video link in the description below. In this second part, we are going to see the scale, the time signature, the strumming pattern and the chords. If you want to view the complete chords for this song in both original version and the transposed version, please see the description below. Now we will see the list of chords in the transposed version. The first chord is A minor. The next chord is C major. The next chord is G major. For beginners, if you are finding it difficult to hold the bar chord of G major, you can use the open style. The next chord is F major. The next chord is E major. The next chord is E seventh. In E major chord, just remove the ring finger. That is E seventh. The next chord is F major seventh. In order to play F major seventh, hold the C major position and then move your second and third finger by one string down please do not move your index finger just leave it as it is and move one string down for the remaining two fingers that is f major seventh the next chord is c major seventh hold the c major position and then remove your index finger that is c major seventh the next chord is a minor 7th. Hold the A minor and remove the ring finger. That is A minor 7th. The next chord is D minor 6th. Hold D minor and then remove your ring finger. That is D minor 6th. The last chord is A flat diminished. So, in order to hold A flat diminished, the first finger on the first fret the reason i say first fret is we have put the capo on the second fret so here and the ring finger on the third fret second string and the pinky on the fourth fret third string and you strike only the first three strings please do not strike four five and six that is a flat diminished so these are the chords used in this song the beauty of this song is the chords change in the middle of the word which means there is more than one chord in a particular word now we will see pallavi chords line by line for the first line and the second line it is only a minor at the end of the second line when the u is dragged it is dragged for four bars on the fourth bar you play an F major chord so we will see the first two lines of Pallavi line Andi Vail is C major, Mini Varum is G major, Poludu is A minor. The next line very similar to this line. So we will see those two lines. Mella Yeridu Mella Yeru is G major, the is A minor. Then we have the beautiful Ruttu Tuttudududu. Ruttu is E seventh. Tudududu is A minor. At the end of this Tudududu, you play an E major chord. For the second line, it's exactly the same. The only difference is you don't play 
the image record at the end of the line. So we will now see those two lines together. <laughs> We will now see Pallavi chords with the slow tempo of the strumming. That is the end of Pallavi chords. We will now see Charanam chords line by line. For the first line of Charanam, Pasum pull. Pasum is rest, no chords. Pull is G major. Pai is G major from the previous word. Gal is C major. Virikum. Virik is C major. Kum is G major. End of this line. After you play the G major for Virikum, you play a C chord. The next line, very similar to the first line of Charanam. The only difference is you don't play the C chord at the end of the line. So we will see these two lines together. Pasum the next line. Idaya me maduvile. Idaya is G major from the previous word. Me is C major. Maduvile, maduvi is C major from the previous word. Le is E major. The next line, nanayude. Nanayu is E major from the previous word. De is A minor. But they will drag Nana Yude. There we have two chords towards the end. It's a bit tricky to play, but with practice it becomes easier. Those two chords are F major 7th and C major. So we will see the four lines of Charanam from the beginning. <laughs> So these chords repeat for the next four lines of Charanam. We will see these eight lines one more time. A bit slow. Pasum And
So, those are the first eight lines of Charanam. Now we will see the next few lines of Charanam. Kadoram Melakurum Sedi. Kadoram Mel is A minor. Lakurum Sedi is A flat diminished. The next line, Ten Pole Payado. Ten Pole Pa is A minor. Yado is A flat diminished. The next two lines are very similar to these two lines. So we will see the next four lines together. The next line, la 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 la. So we have, we will break this down to three parts. La 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 la. So that line, I'm going to break it down. La 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 la. That is C major seventh. La la la. That is A minor seventh. The last part, la la la. That is D minor sixth. So we will see the last line. La that is where it goes to Ruttututututu. As the chords are little complex for Charanam, I am going to play the complete Charanam chords with a single strum to make it easy to understand. Pasum Now we will see Charanam chords with a slow tempo of the strumming. Pasam pul hai So that is the end of Charanam chords. 
I hope you find this video tutorial useful. Thank you for watching.